So you've built your college list and now you have 15, 20, 25, maybe more schools you're interested in applying to. But at some point you have to narrow that list down. How do you figure out which colleges to cross off your list for good so you have a final application list of colleges? Hit that like button and let's get started. Hey there, my name is Carly and this channel is for college bound high school students looking for support and advice on all things college admissions. Last time we talked about building a college list and once that list is created, you're going to spend some time categorizing and prioritizing that list. But by the beginning of senior year, you should be working towards at least starting to narrow down your list or have it narrowed down already. Some students may find this an easy process and some students really struggle with crossing colleges off the list. It's kind of like the realization that once you cross a college off your list, you're officially not attending that school and this is getting real. But it's okay, this is a positive part of the process. So for those of you that are coming straight from my last video, narrowing down your college list can start immediately. There's nothing that says you can't start narrowing down as soon as you've prioritized it. And maybe you're removing more colleges from your list than you're adding and that is okay. As I shared in my last video, this is a living, breathing document. Schools will move up on the list, down on the list, they'll be added, removed, even multiple times. Allow yourself to make these changes. Nothing on your college list is set in stone until you apply. There's a lot of factors that can cause your college list to change. The first factor is going to be due to your research. The more research you do on a school, the more you're going to understand if it's the right fit for you or not really the right fit for you. This research comes in many different forms. So it can be reading about the school online, visiting the school in person, doing a virtual tour, or even speaking to current students who attend the school. Another factor is going to be your academics. Your GPA may go up and down during your junior year. And with junior year being such an important time for academics because it's the last full year of grades before you apply for college, it could push a college on or off the list or maybe push it into another category of admissibility. This is a good thing because it's important that you have a college list with a healthy range of possibilities. Test scores can also cause changes in the list. Test scores often open up opportunities for merit aid and some schools use test scores for admission. But if you're in the class of 2021, this will be drastically different for you because so many schools are going test optional for admission. Some schools are even changing the test policy for merit aid, so be sure to do research on every school you're applying to to understand their test policy. Lastly, your family's financial situation could change, which can change which schools make sense to apply to. If someone loses a job or things become less stable financially, you may be more reliant on financial aid than you were previously. So at the end of this whole process, it's important that you end up with a solid college list. By the time you're applying to college, it's my professional recommendation that you don't apply to more than 10 schools. At least two of them should be what I call high chance of admission schools, otherwise known as safety schools. At least three of them should be target schools, which means you're right on target and the school is a really great fit for your academic profile. Around two of them should be what I call low chance of admission schools, otherwise known as reach schools. And then students have an opportunity to throw in a wildcard option, which are typically schools that are accepting 15% or less of their applicant pool. I recommend applying to no fewer than six schools total. While narrowing down the college list can be a pretty simple process for some students, it can be difficult for others. It honestly can be kind of hard to realize that once you're crossing a college off your list, it's no longer an option. I encourage you to think of this as a positive part of the process. Remember that this has to happen first so that you can end up where you're meant to be. If you're looking for more advice and information around college admissions, click the video on your screen and I'll see you next time.